So in a recent video we did, there was just an overwhelming number of comments talking about cleaning out computer fans, especially with an ultrasonic cleaner, tap water and detergent, and it being a very bad idea. Now for me, this method I do, it works really well. However, first of all, I did make a big mistake and that's I called multi-purpose oil sprays in general WD-40, when in fact the one that I use is anything but WD-40. And it says right here, clearly printed on the uh, multi-purpose spray, it says lubricant. And that's an important thing because when you are cleaning up fans, especially if you're using any sort of detergent or something abrasive that's gonna clean, it's gonna take away some of the original oil and you wanna re-lubricate that with a lubricant. And the actual original WD-40 formula doesn't say lubricant on the bottle. In fact, a lot of people don't recommend WD-40, the original formula, for re-lubricating fans and things that need lubricant. And so that's where I made a bat. I just made this blanket statement where I'll call things by like brand names rather than what they actually are. And I've been doing this with uh, since I was a kid, for example. A uh, big one in Australia would be, for me personally, we call plasterboard uh, jib rock. And in America, I think you guys call it uh, sheet rock and other places in the world, they probably call it something else. But it's a mistake that I've made in the past and going forward, if I've learned one thing, I'm just gonna call the spray that I use is by its actual name, and that's multi-purpose spray. This stuff is really good, and the reason I started using this stuff is because it is under half the price of WD-40, and in my opinion, it does a much better job. So that was my mistake. Sorry about that, guys, but this one here is a lubricant. So after we finish cleaning up the fans with detergent and water, we're getting all that dirt out, all the crap, and then the fans, we re-lubricate them after we quickly get out all the water, make sure it's completely dry. And that's where we're gonna showcase this example right here. This is the Thermaltake 12 centimeter fan that went in the bin, but because I had it in the bin, I was like, well, these comment sections, like the comments were going out of control. I'm gonna showcase the power of abrasive cleaning followed by a nice juicy lubricant session right after today's video sponsor. Never pay full price for Windows 10 or 11 again. With today's video sponsor, SED Keys, you can get activated for as little as $15 using that coupon, BFTYC. Links in description below. So this old Thermaltake fan, we've pulled this out of the bin. It was originally going in the bin, but we pulled it out of the bin because I wanted to showcase the power of the tech. Yes, loving. And in this case, this fan would not work. It wouldn't spin. We plugged it into a motherboard and Usually when it comes to these types of used PC parts, it's not worth my time chucking in an ultrasonic cleaner, then blowing all the water out and then putting the lubricant in. And then even then the motor itself just could be flat out gone. So I don't even know that. But in this case, I think there was signs of it working. So I was like, okay. And then I tried spinning it uh, before I cleaned it and it was just pretty much locked up. So I was thinking to myself, well, why don't I showcase for this video the power of this tech, yes, loving. So what we did was we chucked it in the ultrasonic cleaner, typical hot water detergent, left it on for 15 minutes, and then we cleaned it out. And for this fan, it actually took less than five minutes and actually got critiqued about five minutes. That's definitely not enough time to get all the water out. And in Australia, it definitely is. And I said in that video, it can be five to 10 minutes usually. And that's just based on my experience. And so this fan right here was actually a lot less. The water came out very quickly. And we then re-lubricated this fan and voila, the fan is working like normal again. However, when I tried to test if the um, actual fan blade would come off the motor, the actual frame just broke. So this fan is really old and it's just that frail because it's just that old. So that was actually, now I've just got this little relic here that, that just spins and it's saying hello right now to you guys. So, um, say hello back in the comments to the orange 12 centimeter fan it just needed to prove a point that if you wash pc parts get all the water out straight away then you re-lubricate them there is going to be nothing wrong now in this case the gtx 1060s there's another comment like oh these things are going to dry out very quickly and then they're going to be useless in uh, maybe a couple of weeks to a couple of months and I've been doing this guys with ultrasonic cleaning this method with multi-purpose spray I've been doing this for years and I've been selling PCs with these refurbished parts and none of the PCs come back with that complaint about the fans 
uh, not working anymore. So that's um a, like that's basically me in ways getting real feedback from the real world. And so this method, I know it works absolutely fine because even before I started putting the parts in PCs, I was doing this stuff. Like I think it was like 2015, we started just doing these sort of really unorthodox methods of cleaning and getting good results. So this goes way back on Tech Yes City with these unorthodox methods. And in Japan, I think I used a CRC556 spray as well for cleaning out fans and that did a really good job too. So it's just actually with WD-40, I just haven't had um, a whole lot of experience using WD-40 personally. However, as I said before in the intro, I do a blanket statement and I just call uh, multi-purpose sprays WD-40 when I should stop doing that. So in my opinion, there's basically much better uh, value products out there especially when it comes to working with PC parts and WD-40s. Now, the next comment we've got here is uh, you should put the PC parts in the oven and on a lower temperature, let it dry out that way. Uh, to be honest, guys, again, uh, five minutes a card, I the card's completely dry. That's from what I, that's from how I do things with the blower because actually what the blower does is because it uses actually quite a bit of power, it blows out hot air and that hot air then has a very good drying effect on the cards. And I think that's something that's very underrated about cleaning off water, especially on PC parts. And so in general, that works. And then this sort of segues into the next question where it's, is it safe to use water on PC parts? And here's where, there, if there's no charge left in the computer parts, then it's safe to use because nothing's going to be conducting electricity or shorting anything out. So if you are cleaning PC parts with water, make sure you always remove things like CMOS batteries and, and make sure that if you're using a power supply, for instance, which I have cleaned a power supply in the ultrasonic cleaner before, make sure you've drained all the power out of that power supply. You can simply do this by connecting it up to a cheap power supply tester and then waiting until the light has just died off. Or you can just uh, plug it into a motherboard, hit the power button, and then wait until it's uh, drained the power out of the power supply that way. Next one here is stuff can't touch the bottom of the ultrasonic cleanup and because the vibration won't be as effective. And I do agree here. You do want to use the tray if possible. It's just in this case, I wanted to get all seven cards done in one go and it just fit without the tray in there. So <laughs> uh, usually, yes, that is right. Uh, you should use the tray, especially if you can. And then in terms of what size ultrasonic cleaner we're using, I'll put that up on the screen for you guys. If you guys want to use the ultrasonic cleaner I use, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's actually extremely good value. And then the next question comes from, isn't this uh, hurting the fan bearing since you are washing away the oil? In this case, if oil is coming off the fan when we're washing it, we are re-lubricating it with the multi-purpose spray. So we covered that one before. The next question here is, can you clean my GTX 1060 6 gb ROG Strix 3 fan? I don't know how to clean it. I'm scared the GPU will not be alive after cleaning it myself. So this question is actually uh, really cool. If you're on the Gold Coast and you've got that Strix uh, ROG and it's really dirty, it's got to be really dirty. I don't do like reasonably clean through the ultrasonic cleaner. It's just not worth the time. But if it's really dirty, sure, come on through. I'll clean it for you. But if you don't know what you're doing. And this is a big point of this comment that I want to point out. I like just Blasty782. I just love how, you know, straight up, I wish everyone was like this in the world. If you just don't know what you're doing, guys, don't attempt to do it. Don't copy what I'm doing if it's your first time doing it with an expensive piece of hardware because something could go wrong. Try it out. Get the air blower, which they're like $30. Get the ultrasonic cleaner. If you're cleaning PC parts regularly, and you're flipping PCs especially, this gear is invaluable. But in that case, if you're starting off and it's your first time, get like a GTX 260 that you can afford to lose, right? It's got some dirty fans on it, it's been, it still posts, chuck it through the ultrasonic cleaner, do the tech yes loving on it, and dry it all out, and then see what your method is. See if you have to give it 10 minutes of drying instead of five minutes of drying and to get it to post. So just experiment with really inexpensive hardware if you wanna try doing this. Anyhow guys, in closing off today's video, what we're doing here is we're taking a dirty part and we are cleaning it up. We're cleaning out all the dirt and grime that in a lot of cases, if it's an extremely filthy part, we are then making it uh, flow better. So there's no more objects in the way or no more things blocking up the fan from working. And then we're re-lubricating it after that. And that's an important process that I think a lot of people missed and for some reason, I was just surprised with the amount of comments that came in this time because 
I've been doing this for a long time, actually. And so it was actually quite surprising to see how many comments came in in relation to the fans, especially. And however, at the end of it all, you do you, I do me. And in this case, I'm just sharing methods that I know work really well and they do a good job and they make the parts work better than they did before they got the cleaning. Anyway, guys, hopefully that's cleared up a lot of the frustration in the comments. Again, I did make a mistake about just blanket statement calling um, different types of sprays um, WD-40, which I'm going to stop doing. But in the end, we've got PC parts that I assure you they work extremely well as we uh, demoed with this nice little orange fan here, our test subject in today's video. And with that aside, guys, we have a question of the day here, which comes from Vinny 4 v 277 They ask, when is episode three of Turn $100 into a high-end gaming PC coming? Or when's season three coming? And I'm going to start that up next month. It's finally the time to get it going again. I think... Uh, basically the cryptocurrency boom really distorted things there and it, it made a mess of when I was doing that series and then I went off to, to Japan after that but now that I'm back I'm going to be taking care of you guys with all the lovely budget content that you all subscribe for so I'll catch you on another tech video very soon if you stayed this far then be sure to hit that sub button ring that bell if you want the content as soon as it drops if you've got any uh, more queries or any more comments about the tech yes loving process or if you're just in shock and awe, you cannot believe that PC parts can be taken through water, then again, drop a comment down below. Or of course, if you are 10 years old and you have a lifetime, we're talking 20, 30 plus years of experience with PC parts, also drop a comment down below and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.